Hello everyone! Are you not getting cold air from your air conditioner? Realizing that your AC is running but there's no cool air coming out of it is one of the most frustrating feelings, especially in the height of summertime. But what causes it? Does it always mean an expensive visit from a repair technician? Not necessarily! In this video, we will review the top 5 reasons why AC units aren't cooling you down, so you can try to fix it yourself. Be sure to watch till the end for our best tips. If you want more information, check out the article in the description below. If you have any questions, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Top reason for this problem is unit blowing warm air rather than not blowing any air at all. If there's no air coming out at all, it may mean one of a few things. It could mean you have your thermostat set incorrectly or to the wrong mode. It could mean your air filters are past their usable lifetime and need to be replaced. It might also mean a power problem. If the air coming out of the unit is warm, you may need to adjust your thermostat settings, check your filter, or make sure your outside AC unit is working properly. To properly troubleshoot the problem, let's take a look at each of these problems individually. First place to check is the thermostat. The thermostat is the first place you should always check when your AC isn't working. Some of the simplest solutions to AC problems happen right in the thermostat unit. One common problem is having the unit set to the wrong temperature. Set the thermostat to at least 5 degrees below room temperature. Make sure the thermostat is actually on the cool function instead of heat. And of course, make sure it didn't accidentally get turned off. If you have the thermostat set to the auto feature, you may discover that it sometimes blows room temperature air as part of the auto cycle. Switch it to on instead. Next thing to check is the vents. If you're getting only a little bit of air or no air at all, it may be best to look at your vents. Make sure all your vents are open. It's usual to close a vent and will eventually forget about it. While checking the vents, make sure they're not clogged with any dirt or debris. If the vents look clear, the next thing to do is check your air filter. Air filters should be changed every three to four months. A dirty air filter can cause a blockage of the entire system that could no longer release air. The next thing to check is if the unit is getting juice. If the unit isn't getting power at all, check the various service switches. The last place to check is the circuit breakers on your electrical panel. If you find any of these service switches have been flipped, it may indicate a larger problem with the AC unit. These elements are designed to fail as a safety mechanism. Similarly, you may have a water sensor switch that has been shut off. This may be caused by a clogged condensation drain or too much moisture in the nearby area. This is another failsafe meant to prevent flooding and water damage to your home. The next thing to check is the outside unit and the fan. If warm or hot air is being blown, your air conditioning system is clogged up. Also, if the fan motor fails, then you'll run into similar problems. It is normal, especially in early spring or late summer, for leaves, sticks, dirt, ice, snow, and other debris to block the venting on your outdoor unit. And if a fan isn't working properly, you may hear inconsistent noises, tapping, or even scraping in the worst cases. If you're not getting the usual strong whir of your compressor fan, then something may be wrong. Finally, the last thing you should check is the compressor and the refrigerant. The compressor is the workhorse of your AC system. It pumps refrigerant in and out of your AC unit to cool the air in your house and disperse ambient heat. The main cause of compressor problems is refrigerant leaks. If the refrigerant is low or has leaked out completely, the compressor can't work properly and you'll get warm air. Refrigerant should always be at a constant level because the compressor is a closed system. If you suspect your refrigerant is low, it means there's a leak. There you have it, our top 5 reasons why AC units aren't cooling you down so you can try to fix it yourself. If you thought this video is helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If it doesn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.